Some people in a Lexington neighborhood say they've had enough. They're tired of the noises they say are coming from one home. Those noises are from a rooster. The animal's owner says it's nothing to crow about, but is the rooster breaking the law? Miranda Combs investigates. If you look through this chain link fence, past the brush, behind the makeshift coop, there's an animal most in this neighborhood have heard of. And heard. It's almost like someone is screaming through a bullhorn. Paulette Jones's home backs up to the corner of Big Red's home. Big Red is a rooster. I hear it all day, every day, and there's not much of a buffer. We talked in Jones's driveway for a good 20 minutes. He has not done it, but I do have my laptop. Never heard a single crow. My son is embarrassed to death that I'm even doing this. That's for my kitchen. But she has proof it happens. Most people think that roosters only crow in the morning. <laughs> that is not true. They crow throughout the afternoon and sometimes well into the evening very loudly. So the cops do show up here a lot. And that's embarrassing. Rita Martin owns the rooster causing the ruckus. She says animal control has been at her home at least five times in the past two weeks. It just makes me feel like they're harassing me coming here so much. She says her rooster doesn't start crowing at 5 a.m. as Jones claims. My bedroom is directly in the back and that's where he's at. If that was the case I would be up. But Martin does admit her rooster crows. She says just several times a day, though. And the possible reason we didn't hear him <laughs> during our visit. I know, I'm taking you for a ride. I'm sorry. Is because she's had him caged up for the past two days, trying to quiet Big Red and settle the neighbors. He's used to his big chicken house, and, and then he's got a phone bill around where he can get out and walk. Martin is from the country. There was this little babies when I first got them. And wanted her daughter to be surrounded by farm animals like she was growing up. It just makes her very happy to have stuff like this. It's not a question of whether she's allowed to have a rooster. It's a question of whether some animal, in this case a rooster, is creating, is violating the noise ordinance. It is legal to have a rooster in Lexington city limits. Steve Kay admits the process to get someone fined for a noise violation is long and tedious. I actually posed some questions to the lieutenant of the um, police. <laughs> Last year, 178 citations for violating the noise ordinance were given out by Lexington police. I think that is it. And I have one more. Jones has filed two complaints with animal control. Let them know that it was for a rooster. And a third criminal complaint with the county attorney. It isn't a crowing rooster, a violation of Section 412 of the city code. This could lead to court all over a rooster that crows. You know, I just feel like I should have a right to have one. You know, they're not hurting anybody. In Lexington, Miranda Combs, WKYT. Animal control tells us complaints like this can take around 30 days to go through the system. Right now, the Urban County Council does not have anything on its agenda to change any ordinances to include roosters.